Hey everyone, Lego Lover here, and today I'm going to show you how to make my custom Lego Ridley. Now, this video is going to be posted at the same time my Ridley video is, for reasons. Because I thought I wouldn't get 10 likes on it, and um, maybe there's like 4 people that really, really want to know how to make on this. So I thought, I'm just going to make a how to build on it. So we're going to start with the head, then the body, then we'll do the arms and the legs last, and the wings. Okay. First thing you'll need is a Travis brick. And you're going to want two purple headlight bricks. And put some cheese slopes on it. Purple, I had clear, but I still think it looks fine. You're going to want to put them on like that. Then you're going to want to do the same put a cheese slope on the front and then connect them then take the, the Travis brick and connect them make sure they're all lined up and stuff and then you're gonna want to take two studs yellow or green like I chose and you're gonna want to connect them onto the sides of the Travis brick for the top of his head you're gonna want a one by two plate, a cheese slope, and a slope piece in purple, and you're going to want to connect them right here. Then you're going to want to take a ball joint and connect a jumper plate, put it at the back like so. How did I do this? Did I do it like this? Hmm. Alright, alright, I, I remember. So you're done with take two one by two uh, plates, a slope piece, and a, tra and a uh, cheese slope, and put them like this, and then connect them to the top of Ridley's head, like so. For this plate, is at the back of this for it can't fall off. I thought that was a pretty smart design. And then you're gonna want to take a clip piece and one of these pieces. I really don't know what to call them. They're fairly new. Then you're gonna want to take a one by two plate and a slope piece and put them at the end for his bottom jaw and then connect it. Oh. I did this wrong. You don't want to put it like that. Make sure it's straight. Make sure it lines up good. And uh, there you go. There is Ridley's head. And now we're going to do the neck. So you're going to want a 90 degree Technic piece with two of these at each side. And you're done. This is optional. I did it because I didn't want that hole in, in his neck. You're gonna want to take two purple studs and uh, put them like that, and connect Ridley's head, neck, and his head to that ball joint. And there you go. Now for the body, I haven't took it apart because I was worried I wouldn't know how to put it back together. Alright, we'll start from the bottom and work our way up to the top. So you're going to want to take a uh, round brick. It doesn't have to be round, I just liked it round. It could be a purple brick. You're going to want to attach a cheese slope and a hinge piece like this. You're going to want to take a purple brick, one by two brick. I didn't have it, I use a trans purple again. You're gonna wanna take two purple headlight bricks and attach them like so. And then your for his legs, what attaches his legs, you're gonna wanna take two ball joints and attach them on a bottom round tile and put 
a 1x2 purple plate and a ball joint to attach the tail and connect it like so. For the top of Ridley's body, you don't want to take a headlight brick. I didn't have any more in purple, so I just used them like that. You don't want to take two 1x2 plates, a ball socket, and some ball joints, and connect them like so. And attach the headlight brick to the back and attach this uh, weird piece. I don't really know what it's called, like so. Then you're going to want to attach this part to this and take some grill tiles for that rib cage effect that he had. And then you're going to want to take Ridley's head and attach it to said ball socket. And uh, there you go. You're almost done making your Lego Ridley. Now for the arms. I'm only going to show you how to make one because they're more or less the same. You're going to want to take some ball joints, some arm ball joints. You don't want to take two of them and attach them like this. Then you're going to want to twist one for he has an elbow. And these are all fresh fresh uh, ball joints, so they're nice and tight. Then you want to take a 1x2 tile and a 1x2 plate. And you don't want to do that for both of them like so then for the hand the hand really isn't anything special you're gonna want to take a uh, oh, I really don't know what this is called right now a uh, bar piece the one with the three connections not the two then you're gonna want to put some of these clip pieces and attach a claw piece and attach this to a ball socket and for his thumb you're going to want to take a clip piece and a tooth I ran out of black so I had to use gold then you're going to want to attach it like that and attach it to his arm and you're going to want to do that twice but mirrored and then you're going to want to attach his arms to the balls and his torso. I thought the arms kind of sat down kind of low, but uh, there's not much I can do about it. I mean, there is, and I might do an update video on that. So I'm just going to set this off to the side for the legs. This top part is the same as the arms. The leg you don't want to take a arm piece or a leg piece, put a 1x2 plate on the back. You don't want to take one of these purple slopes like we used on his head. And put it right there in a 1x1 one one round plate and attach it like so. And for the foot, it's more or less like the arm or the hand like this with a purple tile and one more of these clip pieces with a bigger tooth piece and you're going to want to attach it like this you're going to want to make two of them and then you are going to want to attach them to his body like so and you have a wingless Ridley and a tailless for the tail, it's the most simplest part. Just gonna want to take some arm pieces, do the same for the bicep, and put some cheese slopes on it. And for this, this is a very old piece. It is a uh, Technic piece in old purple, and you're gonna want to attach it to this Technic ball joint with the round one. Then you want to put a Technic. Um, pin to stud and then I want to take a Lego cone and put it right there and you don't want to take this long tooth piece and put it in the cone 
and there's your tail. Then you're gonna want to stick it in his butt, basically, and uh, there you go. Now you have a tail, a Ridley with a tail. The Ridley's looking pretty complete so far. Now for his back, this is another really simple part of this. So you're gonna want to take a two by three purple plate. And you're going to want to take a ball socket with a Technic ball joint like this with the plus. Then you're going to take this other Technic piece and put it like so. Then you're going to want to take some wing pieces used for the Batmobile but in purple. And if you don't have these in purple you can use them in black or just find another way to build really wings. You're going to want to attach it right there. You're going to want to do that twice. You don't want to take a Nexo Knight shield piece in purple. These came in some of some of the Marvel sets. It doesn't have to be this. I just thought it looked cool. You don't take another one of these weird slope pieces and put it like that. And then you're going to want to take Ridley and attach the back of it right there. And voila, you have a Lego Ridley. I thought he turned out pretty good. So uh, thanks for watching. I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. I have all kinds of Smash Bros things over there. I'm going to do videos on. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye.